Everyone, it is Ven Jeff and welcome to a mod showcase. It's been a while since I've done one of these and I thought I would start with a mod called the Kitchen Mod, which was made by Mr. Spring. Um, it's a pretty diverse mod, but it's also pretty simple. So I thought I would start off simple. And it is a fun mod that you can add into your world if you enjoy food, if you enjoy making food and displaying your food and having a detailed kitchen because I know that you can't do much kitchen wise in vanilla minecraft so this is a cute mod to add to your series to spruce up your kitchen and i'm going to showcase all the different things you can do with it and all the different things you can make so the first thing you're going to want to make is your actual kitchen and they actually provide a bunch of things that you can use we have tiles right here which are you know they're accustomed to any type of kitchen that you might have at home and they are easy to clean if you spill anything. So let me just click here and I'll show you what it's made from. It's made from clay, bone meal and ink sack and you get two tiles and you can just decorate your kitchen with these on the floor. We also have some kitchen cabinets if I go like this. You can see that they're made out of oak wood planks and nether quartz so you're going to have to get to nether for this and these are cute to have up and obviously you know they decorate and make your kitchen look a little bit more a little bit more decorated it's good and that is about it for actual decoration we have other things that are part of the kitchen such as an oven and i'm just going to show you what the oven does if i crouch i can right click and open it so that's how it functions and you also have a frying pan that you can put on your actual oven so if i click this and this i'm going to show you what these are made of the oven is just made out of iron ingots, coal and a flint and steel and you get one of them and the frying pan is made out of iron in this shape a bit like a frying pan and yeah that is the oven section completed you can have a furnace as well which is used to make toast and I will show you how to make that and um, the main thing that you need to make your sandwiches is a cutting board I know some people have been thinking that it's a plate but it's actually a cutting board and I'll show you how to make that it's pretty simple it's just two spruce slabs or any type of wood and a pressure plate in the middle and you get your cutting board and you can place it down on any surface like this we also have a plate which is used to display your sandwich as I've displayed my little sandwich here which is kind of like a bacon lettuce tomato I'm not sure what's going on there and um, but let me just take this and you can see the plate is made pretty simple with clay and a bone meal in the middle and you can use this to display your sandwich. So now let's get into the nitty gritty parts of the mod which involves actually making your sandwich. So you need a knife or a pestle and mortar and the knife is made this simple. It's pretty, pretty simple. It's just using an iron ingot and a stick and this is used to dice up and cut the different parts of your sandwich and I'll show you right here. This chest contains all of the things that you will need to use the knife with and we have bread we have raw pork chop raw beef all of these different things we have some things that the mod itself adds such as lettuce tomato and um, strawberries and you can find these out in the wild just randomly washed or walking around as well as the vanilla stuff and then if we look in this chest you can see what the outcome is of putting it in a crafting bench with the knife to the side of it i will demonstrate let me just demonstrate with like a piece of bread so say if you go over to your crafting bench and you put your knife in and your piece of bread you get two slices of bread and you keep your knife obviously and then as you can see these are the outcomes of what you chop up all the different things i'm just gonna hover over them so you can see as well as strawberry slices and stuff and what you can also do with the strawberry slices is if i just open my inventory here you can get sugared strawberry slices which is made by just dicing up strawberry slices and then adding sugar or you can put all three in the crafting bench together and it will automatically give you the sugared strawberry slices. Another way that you can make your sandwich is actually using a pestle and mortar. This grinds things so if you have anything that needs to be grinded then this is perfect. Let me just get rid of these. If I open up this you can see we have a pestle and mortar right here and this is just made using the two items together and each one is made from stone like this and the, the pestle is made like this and then you combine the two and you get your mortar or pester, pe uh, pestle and mortar and you use this in a crafting bench along with the items that are shown on the left so you put a shelled peanuts in to get a peanut or two peanuts 
you put a piece of bread in and you'll get three flour. You put milk in, you will get butter, and you put wheat in and you'll get flour. So let me just demonstrate with the shelled nuts. If we go to the crafting bench, put this in here, put this here too, you get the peanuts and you get the mola and pesto back. So let me just put this here and put this back in here. Also, if you put flour that you get from these into a furnace, as shown right here, or let me just use this furnace because it's got coal in it, you will get toast. So let me just put this in here to show. And I'll just leave that to cook whilst I'm showing off the other stuff. So we have a oven here. To get the oven working, you need to shift, right click, and put some coal into here. So you can see that's just ran out now. If I put some coal in there, oops, I just threw the coal and I just right click like that and then shut it. This oven is now in service, I think it is, yeah, you can see the little particles. And then if I go into here, you can see you can cook the raw beef fillets and the raw bacon. What you do is you just right click into the pan and you wait for particles to appear. You'll see the difference if we just wait a few, few seconds, any minute now. Bacon strips actually take a little bit longer so I probably should have put something else in there. But that is fine. Let's just check on the toast. You can see we've made some toast, which is sandwichable. You can use this for sandwich or you can use regular bread. And I will show you that in a second. So if I right click there, you can see there was little particles coming off it and you get cooked bacon. If you don't take out your food when the particles are there and you leave it, you will get overcooked food, which looks like this. It's all burnt meat, ill. we don't want that. And another thing you can do with the frying pan is you can use strawberries, you can use sugar strawberry slices, and you can use apple slices. Um, actually, is it strawberry that you use? It's not, it's peanuts. You can use peanuts and you will get different things. So say if I right click this here and we wait for this to melt, you can use a empty jar, which is just made like this. As you can see, glass in a bucket shape with an iron ingot. And then once this is properly melted, you'll be able to tell you will be able to right click the frying pan with your jar and get some jam. And you can make peanut butter and you can make, oh, there we go. We got our apple jam and you can make strawberry jam. And yeah, it's another thing that you can just have spread on your sandwich. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a, well, we have a regular bread one here, so why not make a toast one? Let's see what we got. Let's get our toast. Let's get some other items that we got here. Let's get some, we don't want, well we can put, let's put some lettuce, let's put some tomato slices, some cheese, and a slice of potato. Oh, I threw the potato. And we're gonna put this onto our sandwich. So to make your sandwich, you need to use your cutting board. You right click, and you can just add your different pieces. There's no limit to how big it can be. It can go up for miles if that's what you want. Um, and you can just put your different items in like this, and then put another piece on top. And then when you are ready, you can shift, right click, Oh, shift right click and it will give you your sandwich. And you can see I'm holding my little sandwich here. So you can make like a little cheese toasty. You can make yourself a cheese sandwich or bacon, lettuce, tomato, whatever you guys fancy. You can open your own Subway. <laughs> and to display your sandwich, you just right click onto a plate and voila. You got, your little, you got yourself a little sandwich. Little sandwich. So I hope you guys enjoyed this mod. If I've left out anything, I will let you know in a comment down below. But a lot of it's still in progress. I think they're still updating the recipes, so if I do miss out anything, I'm sorry. And also, all the recipes will be in the description. If I didn't explain it too well, I will leave a link down there. And you can also check out the link to download the mod for yourself. It's a cute little mod. I definitely recommend it. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Leave a like if you want me to do another mod showcase in the future, if you want me to bring this back. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.